Good job. Odin, you're learning how to garden too, huh? Very good. Now you know you can plant those tomatoes a lot deeper than that, right? So with tomatoes, you can plant them all the way up to here. Now the other plants you want to bury just like that. Look at how good he did. That is the perfect planting. Soil level with the soil root ball. Man, you're a pro. Have you done this before? Yes. You're good at it. But with tomatoes, we use a different rule of bury them deep for lots of roots. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's. Actually, you know what? Do you mind if I move it over just a little yeah. bit so that we give it a little bit more space to grow and it's not so close to the edge? Oh, go deep, deep. Oh, look, look how deep I go. Now I'm gonna hold the soil open with my trowel and you can drop that baby right down in there. Wee. Wow, now it's deep, huh? Uh -huh. All right, fill it in. Good job. There you go. Oh, that's really too deep, probably. Oh, yeah. That might be too deep. You hold its little head up while you cover it. Yeah, that should be just, just about right. Liam likes to plant flowers. I convinced him that a couple of tomato plants would be good in his garden, too. I'm trying to convince him to let me plant some herbs in here, too. Uh, you think you'll let me? Yeah, because I think there's enough room. I think you got a lot of room. I think some perennial herbs like rosemary and thyme. Yeah. And some mint, even. Yeah, I like You like mint. Yeah. And this, planting it in this planter will help it from taking over somewhere else. It'll just stay right in this planter. So just as I got all of my tropicals uncovered and happy, and I got my semi-tropical <laughs> peppers and tomatoes planted, the forecast is gonna change on me. Instead of lows in the 50s all week, it is forecasted to be 38 degrees tonight and tomorrow night. <laughs> no, it won't kill them, but I'm gonna cover them back up again because they'll be happier if I do. Tuck my babies in, keep them happy. That's what I'm gonna do. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later, I have started thinking if it's just love. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places, but we were young and It might be a little overkill. They might not need it, but I know they like it. Tomatoes don't like to be in temperatures below 50 degrees. Never mind below 40. And then to go to 38, pushing it a little. It's not that they would have any damage, but they would be like, mm, we're sad, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop growing. We're just gonna stop for a minute because it must not be time for us to grow yet. And I don't want them to think that right now. I want them to continue growing. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to chasing payment on my own. Cause you're here to stay every night and day. I'm delighted cause I got you.
Well, we made it through the last cold night of the season. We hope. <laughs> Cross our fingers, say our prayers. And boy, am I glad that I did cover these tomatoes and peppers, even though the temperatures didn't get down to freezing. The forecasted temperature was 38 degrees for the low. It actually went below that. And right where the frost fabric was touching the tops of these new growth on these tomato plants, there's actually a little bit of damage. So when people say they'll be fine, they'll be fine. I want you to know that even that little bit of cold touching them caused some damage. Just look how stressed these leaves are. Even though they were covered, they have started to turn yellow a little bit. These plants were the perfect picture of health before this cold snap. So this just goes to show you that it is better to plant your tomatoes and peppers later rather than earlier. So even though you're tempted to plant at the very first day of the last frost, it's a good idea to wait a couple of weeks even after the last frost. Okay, so you just dig it out, dig the hole. No, you have to move the plant and then dig where the plant was. So like, Baba? Yep. And then you... Yeah, oh, Odin oh, wants to help. Hold on, let me get you a shovel. Hold on, I'll go get you a shovel. And then you just pinch the bottom of the... You hold the top of the plant, of the plant holder, and then you just pinch it. And then just you try pulling it up and then down again and then pinch it again to get the plant out. So, and then you just I put, think this is good? Yeah, that's deep enough. That's, that's good. Pinch this? No. Like the stem? You pinch the pot. Why don't you show him? See how he's holding it upside down? And then you pinch, pinch it the and pot then... pot to get the roots to let go. Next. Liam, you're a really good instructor. Mm -hmm. There you go. But which one do I want? This one. This one looks pretty. <laughs> no. you, you guys are doing a great job. I'll bring you some herbs to plant too. Does this look good? That looks great. Perfectly done. I taught you well. <laughs> I'm yes, young Padawan. Yes, I was just about to say that. <laughs> I was just about to say I'm your Padawan. I can't believe you. We we were thinking the same thing. Great minds. I'm thinking of sours too. <laughs> You're doing a good job, Odin. Okay, which one do I want to do next? This one. Are you having fun? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. I just. What is that? What did you just dump in my garden? I just dumped out the morel spores. Uh, that were mixed up with that sawdust and wood chips. I soaked them overnight for 24 hours, just like the instructions said, and I poured them in a four by four area under hardwood trees. So we'll see if it works. I have a couple more buckets to do. All right, guys, you heard it here first. If next year we have morels growing all over this spot on the edge of my new shade garden, we will know. Now, what happens if I plant my hydrangea right there? Then morels grow up around the hydrangea? I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Cause it's not like, I don't have to worry about it right now, right? Right. Like what I'm asking is, is like, right now the mycelium hasn't formed, it's just spores? These are just spores, hydrated spores. Um, so digging into them won't disturb the mycelium growth. No. But it might actually help it. It could. Okay, I have some hydrangeas that my dad sent me for my birthday, and this is actually one of the spots I wanted to put the big one. Awesome. So, I'm pretty excited. Do you want to do it right now while you have it nice and wet, and you can move some of the sawdust aside so that you don't disturb all the spores, and we only disturb some of them? Sure. All right. That's one way to get them to do work. <laughs> put them on the spot on camera. And did you notice my shirt? I don't know if you can read it. This was a birthday present from Ryan's mom. <laughs> All right.
Here's one of my daddy's hydrangeas. My dad is a world-renowned hydrangea grower from Nantucket, Massachusetts. Nantucket hydrangea. That's my daddy. And I think basically right at the center of that pile. So like if we pull this guy out of the way. Yeah, that came up easy. I should pop that up. Someone might want that. These Althea Rose <laughs> hibiscus are weeds here, but somebody else might want them. Every day we anyway, I'll let you We're not young, see your thing. All right. So now when the morels grow all around my dad's hydrangea, we can say that my daddy helped us plant morel mushrooms. Yeah. Can I give you a pat on the back? Ah, not my new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's some rich looking soil. That's hard to believe here in Georgia to see such dark soil. Nice. I'm actually taking this bucket. Ah. Yeah. That Ryan used for the mushroom spores. And I'm rinsing it with some water. Yeah, I know you want to play with the water, Odin. And I'm going to dump it right here in the garden. Just kind of at the edge, I guess. And see if anything happens. You never know, right? It's much better if you can get mycelium growth started before you put something out, but... We do have a lot of wood chips here, so it should do something. Maybe. Could do something. Hopefully. Hey, what are you doing to that? All right, who's going to plant those herbs now? All right, so we've got the lemon thyme. Uh, is this chocolate mint, I think? Chocolate mint. Me. What is it? Sweet mint. Me, sweet. We got lemon verbena. Is that right? Lemon balm. Sorry. My brain is not good today. I had sugar and I'm not doing good because of it. Um, German thyme, rosemary, monarda, or otherwise known as bee balm. And I think that one's chocolate mint. I thought we got a chocolate mint. Oh no, that's peppermint. Spearmint? Yep. Peppermint. And another thyme. Which one is this? I do smell chocolate. English thyme. I thought we got a chocolate mint. I guess not. All right, boys, enjoy. You guys are doing a really great job. It's gonna be a really nice garden. What are you boys doing? I had to wash my hands somehow, so I thought I might as well water one or two garden beds while I was washing my hands. And then he helped. And then he helped. Yeah, you love playing in the water. Can I get you to plant some stuff over here for me? Yeah. I can get you to plant some marigolds. How's the herb planting going? Good. Great. You having fun? Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> Are you eating more than you're planting? Nope. I'm okay. Oh, looks good, boys. Look at these kids. Who needs. Yeah. 
professional landscapers when you've got these boys. You guys are almost like professional landscapers yourself. Can we plant some, some more plants? <laughs> Was that scripted? <laughs> Did you guys plan that out? No. What do you want to plant? Um, um, strawberries. Strawberries. Well, <coughs> there are a bunch of little flies out here today, <coughs> and I keep inhaling them. Um, well, your friend sent you these strawberries. <coughs> One of the subscribers to our channel said specifically that the strawberries were for the boys. So here, you take that clump, you take that clump. You know they're each one plant, right? Yeah. Do you need me to take that off for you? Yeah. <coughs> I'm going to edit that out. And when the plate, All right. when you said, I'm going to edit that out. All right, so let's get the rubber band off. And could you do me a favor? Are you going to plant these in a row? Or just all over? Or just along the edge or something? Wherever you want to plant them. But can you put this label next to them on top of the soil? Okay. So that I'll be able to tell which kind tastes the sweetest. There you go. <coughs> No more eating bugs, Rose. <coughs> Do you know how to pull them apart, Liam? The strawberries? Do you know how to pull each piece apart? They're connected at the top, but they're all different roots. Look, come back. So these are 25 different plants. You take them and you pull them apart, and you can see, look. See the top of this? Yeah. The roots are tangled, but you pull them, and that's one plant. See how it's a definite plant right on top of the roots? Like can you can you show me? Uh, so so put down the major clump. Put that down, and then pull that apart. You see, there's more plants in there. Do you see them? Each little yeah. plant. You see at the top? Yeah. Pull it, and then that's a different plant, and then that's a different plant, and you want to put the plant part where the leaves are up at the top of the soil and bury the roots. Okay. All right. I think you can do it. Go. And I go. think you can too. Yep. There you go. Yep. Yep. Some of the clumps yep. might not have green leaves on them yet. What was that, Rowan? Hmm, kind of. How are you doing it, Liam? Oh, I see. You got them spaced out more. Yeah, I see them. One, one, one. So those are kind of close together, Ro. I would probably only put one plant in a hole and then dig another hole. Does that make sense? Because they're going to spread. You know, the strawberries will just grow more strawberries and send out runners and grow more plants. So just one per hole. So dig the hole, bury the roots. But that, that looks like you have it l laid out perfectly. So you would have been planting right if there was just one in there. So go ahead and take out some of them and show me just one and we'll see if you got it right. Okay. Is this good? Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. How's it going over here? Good. Did you finish planting your strawberries yet? Not all of them. Uh, Not all of them. Yeah, there's a lot. There is. 25 a piece. What are you... That is a lot. You're doing a good job, though. Don't forget, you got to water this in when it's done. If you need to stop until tomorrow and plant more tomorrow, you can just group them together with their tag and put them over in my holding area where the roots will stay moist, okay? Okay. You let I me think know. I'm ready. You ready to take a break? Yeah. Okay, what about you, Rowan? I think I can do a little more. Okay. All right, sounds good. Liam, you had a big day today, didn't you? Yeah. What? Got my teeth out. You got your teeth pulled out, yep. 
now both of my bottom and front two teeth are out. Yeah, so the dentist bottom, had to help wiggle out the top two teeth. Your bottom ones are growing. And the bottom ones are growing already. And then one of the top ones, I already saw the new tooth coming down. So he was super happy to get that taken care of. Good boy. Are you pushing your brother on the swing? Yeah. Yeah. You like that, huh, Onan? Hey. <laughs> You're finishing planting strawberries? Yep. And did you water in everything good? Yep. Good job. And Rowan's already been over here and planted some peppers. So these, this bed is filling up fast, boys. Yep. Good job. Gardening with kids has some side effects. I was like, why do I have labels in this bed that doesn't have any plants? Oh, those are the plants that I planted in the other beds. Thanks, Odin. He gathered them up and moved them over here for me. <laughs> now everything's just going to be a surprise. Okay, put the dirt on it now. Good job! That's great. Odin, you're learning how to garden too, huh? Yeah. Such yep. a nice Grandma Carol to teach you. <laughs> when your kids think that your watering the garden bed is meant for them to play in. Guys, I'm just trying to water the plants you planted for me. You love water, don't you? It's getting hot out here. They're chasing the water as I go. My boys. My boys. They're so wonderful. You see all these marigolds and dianthus? They've got them in every corner of every bed. And some extra dianthus down the middle of the tomatoes. And it's just beautiful. They did this. They planted this for their mommy.